It's been a couple days since I've put out a video, so I just want to check in to see how the first week of 2014 is going for you. Are you taking steps daily to reach your goals for 2014? Remember, if we change our philosophy, that will change our attitude, which will change our actions. If we change our habits, it can change our life. That's what we're looking for in 2014, and that's how we're going to accomplish our goals this year. So how is that going? Are you taking steps daily to accomplish your goals? For me personally, the year is off to a great start. My workout plans have changed uh, from the off-season to now we're, we're starting to get into the, the main season. Doing my uh, first full Ironman triathlon of the year. Uh, in end of April, we're going to do two full Ironman triathlons this year, one end of April, one end of September. So it's going to be a big year for me. Baby's coming in between that, so it's like a little sandwich, you know, Ironman, Ironman, baby in the middle. Uh, but it's going good. The training is, is going well. I, this is my first week doing it, and I'm enjoying it. Second thing was, I had a fantastic speaking engagement yesterday had the awesome opportunity to, to go to a, a local city here about 15-20 uh, about minutes away and, and pour my life and ideas and thoughts and humor into these amazing students and amazing teachers and <laughs> it was so much fun. I had a blast, they got a lot out of it and I am so grateful and blessed to just be in a position to be able to share. I mean I love doing this. I love speaking to the youth of our future. It is so fun for me. So here are a couple clips from yesterday's event. I know that you will enjoy them. Next video will be coming out on Saturday. Bye for now. By a show of hands, how many of you were the loud, obnoxious, ill-mannered, unruly kids who always got in trouble at school? Me too. <laughs> Literally the first day of elementary school went like this for me. I walk into class, I pick up a toy, I'm playing with the toy. Next thing I know, Michael walks over. Yes, it was 24 years ago. I still remember his name. Don't judge me. So Michael walks over, grabs the toy out of my hand. So I take it back. Next thing I know, Michael grabs my arm and he pinches me. So I pinch him back. Next thing I know, we're both in the hallway about to get swats on the first day of school. Michael's in the corner crying like a little baby. No, 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 no. I told Michael, stop clowning. Don't start no stuff, won't be no stuff. I was a kid. I thought Ryan's message was amazing because it's the fact that he was a troublemaker and then he went into a shy person and then like formed his life around that. I thought that was really cool. I liked his message on forgiveness because everybody needs forgiveness and it's like a really touchy subject for me because I'm not very good at forgiving and like it just, it helps me like, it motivates me to forgive people even though they hurt me and yeah, I really liked him, he's really good. Now looking back, I have no clue why I acted the way I acted, went to counseling, tried to talk things over, they said I had low self-esteem and confidence issues, that didn't help. <laughs> Doctor. Went to the doctor, the doctor said I had ADD, tried to put me on medicine to control me. That didn't help either. <laughs> Nothing changed until I made a conscious effort to change. I realized the less I talked, the less I acted out, <laughs> the less I got in trouble. And he kept our attention by being funny and not just, you know, being that awkward guy up there that everyone would <laughs> fall asleep to while he's talking. So. I think you did a great job. I believe that we all want the best for each other and ourselves. But I also believe that we do the best we can with the resources we have available at the time. In the act of doing something stupid, if you had better resources in the moment, you wouldn't have done the stupid thing. When I say better resources, I'm talking about mindset, attitude, philosophy, and beliefs. Uh, Ryan's speech today was absolutely wonderful. He, you know, he was funny, he was personable, he is an amazing speaker. I really felt like he was connecting to everyone. And the things that he had to say were really, really just profound and he had a very intelligent way of speaking that I really admired in him. People ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? 
And some of you probably have an answer right now, if I were to ask you. But I'm going to ask you a more important question than what do you want to be when you grow up. The question is, who do you want to be when you grow up? And what kind of life do you want to have? Uh, about Ryan's speech, he just said a lot of stuff I could relate to. It seemed like whenever he talked about his dad, it kind of reminded me a lot about my situation with my mom. And his entire story about the triathlon, it made me feel about hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And he's a true symbol for that quote right there. He represents a lot, and uh, people should try to follow in his footsteps and change the generation like he has.